This is Worsten Slot. He's an Iron Man, restricted to a very specific set of weapons. Banned from using anything at all recommended, I'll be attempting to defeat every boss in the game. This means getting a quest cape and grinding for some items that most people wouldn't care about at all. So welcome to a ridiculous journey. Prouder things than orcs in the deep places of the world. I've been thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I could hide things? And the answer is yes, it would be pretty cool. Today we'll be doing three things. One, make a solid dent in getting 55 magic. Two, do some iconic quests that'll take us all around the map. And three, put the Brian Saber to the test by defeating our first non-quest boss. I've gotten myself a few more stats since you last saw me, namely 56 agility. I know, it's crazy. Uh, it's for a special place we'll be visiting later on, as well as 50 fire making. Yeah, 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 we're, we're here. We're at the place. Now, as Winter Todd is technically a boss, we should do it wrong, right? Uh, so I will be going in completely naked with no warm clothing, so we're going to take a lot of damage. Uh, armed with nothing but my axe, uh, I will bring a knife to Fletch, because I think I will need to for the points. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Update, got hit a 17 and a 30. That was really nice for me. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Jesus Christ, it hit so hard without any clothes. This is a horrible idea. Oh no. Alright, we got a crate. Anything interesting? Coins, that's what I wanted. Let's go. Alright, alright. Okay, we did our shitty naked winter tub. Before we go and grind out a bunch of it for supplies, uh, I am gonna go ahead and get Daddy's home done. That'll give us a house, uh, and will let us get construction XP for winter tub, which would be great. So we're gonna help Marlo help his dad, Yarlo, sure, and make him some furniture. Hey, can you make planks from this weird shit? No, oh, it's for Yarlo. Yeah, just hand him here before he complains. Jesus. Cool, finished Daddy's home, got some nice supplies, got eight construction, very nice. Let's get some warm clothing and we'll head on back to Winter Todd. And here we are, see you in a little while. That is enough for now. God, this is not my favorite activity. Anyway, uh, let's do some quests, yeah? Yeah. Did you know if you click this button, the number goes up, and if you click this button, you release dopamine directly into my brain? Starting things off with the giant dwarf, so we're gonna head down to Keldegrim. They could at least have centered the text. What a great statue, I hope nothing happens to it. Oh wow, the statue of King Alvis. And we're gonna go straight past it. Dang, we're close to it. I didn't know we could get this close to- Oh, fucking- I am under arrest for being a passenger on a ship that went out of control. Fuck me, right? We gotta help Blazadar make a new statue, because apparently we're doing that now. Oh wow, it's the Scholar's Guide to Dwarven Costumes. Man, I haven't read this since college, that's crazy. Hey, I had a question for you. Oh, 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 okay, sorry, bye. So normally this guy won't give you these boots, but there's a trick you can do here. Uh, it's called Crime. This one's a little different. Uh, the term is actually Long Range Crime. Time to go see a very special man. Thungus, is the price of any ancient weapon restoration still one fucking pie? Great, we got everything that the sculptor needs to model his new statue off of. That's quest complete, right? Right? Well, we have to join a company now and we can choose any of these wonderful establishments apart from the Red Axe. But I'm really leaning towards the Brown Engine. I really like their um, uh, proximity, really, is what really got me into them. Okay, I've gotten you countless ores and bars. Can I please make a statue of you? Giant Dwarf completed. Now a certain Lumbridge Guide needs free it. The Lumbridge Guide wants a cake of guidance, which is a normal cake, but I have to answer trivia while I'm holding the ingredients. Who's gonna be in the egg? It's Gertrude! 
So yeah, just make sure you show up to your next pub trivia with an egg, a pot of flour, and a bucket of milk. Uh, and then answer all the questions right, you'll have some great cake afterwards. Yeah, I also only like cake that looks like it goes, Ugh! All right, we freed that boy. It's time for Trinum Village. Hello, Traveler. Are you here to help or just watch? Uh, just watch. Where's the best place? Like, maybe over here? Where Where am I out of the way, you know? Okay, had to get the coordinates for the Khazard Stronghold to fire this thing. Uh, by the way, that's the Khazard Stronghold. I feel like I could have just aimed, but, you know, fine. We have the coordinates now. So this guy's motivation to kill me for the orbs, it lasts till exactly there. He's no longer interested. He is done. Hey, it's King Bulby. I got your ball. You're good now, right? Oh, God, they lost more balls. Why can't they keep track of their balls? Stop! You violated the law! I've come for the orbs! Your stolen goods are now forfeit! Brian Saber's messing this guy up. I love it. Four, nine. Aha! Two balls for me. Okay, King, I brought you two more balls. Please tell me they didn't take the one I just gave you while I was gone. Wait, we can make the cinematic. We can make the cinematic. Hang on, hang on. Yes. And that's Tree Gnome Village. Let's keep on with the Gnome Improvement Saga and do Grand Tree. Okay, I'm going to take you through this quest step by step. Big Tree Sick. Old Gnome Help. Gluff Total Dick. Man in jail. Gluff racist shit. Me in jail. Crash in jungle. Shrek make ouch. Lie to man. Show king proof. King no care. Lie to woman. Take Gluff's things. Show to king. King still no care. Write with stick. Gluff summon demon. Whack, 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 whack. Look for rock. Rock make sick. Now quest done. You might be able to guess what quest is up next. Oh yeah, it's monkey time. Two things, I need to head to Karamja to get some anti-poison or else I will die. Uh, and second, I usually do this quest with prayer potions, uh, but I'm sure I'll be fine, right? So the gnome SEAL Team 6 has disappeared and we gotta go find them. Uh, I think there'll be some monkeys involved. We gotta talk to this guy, GLO Karanok. Uh, GLO actually, contrary to popular belief, does not stand for Gnome Liaison Officer. No, it's uh, Great Leviathan Ouroboros. So Gnome Zoro here is gonna send us to Ape Atoll, and we're gonna hate ourselves there. Ugh, here we are in this fucking place. You guys ready to make some friends? I know I am. Oh, monkeys! Hey, let's, uh, oh, fucking, oh, god, why would you do that? Fun fact, the first time I died during a quest on my, uh, main account was right there, because the scorpions decided that they were gonna hit me for two 14s in a row, and, uh, that was really nice for me. Oh, god, no, stay away. Thank you. What? Okay. <laughs> Go in. Yes. Hooray. This is Garkor. He's clearly very important because he's wearing the red crop top that denotes an officer. And now we get to deal with this glorious place. Hooray. Oh, thank you. That was great. Ow. Ow. Oh, we made it! Why the fuck would you be all the way back here, you absolute bastard? Jesus. Zuknok there gave us an enchanted bar, and we can use that to create a monkey-speak amulet. We have to go to a place of religious significance to the monkeys, which means a wall of flame underground in Apatol, of all places. Uh, anyway, we can resupply, head on back, and uh, have a good time. Hey, it's me again! I uh, wondered if we could restart over, and oh, no, I guess not. Oh, okay. Just gonna do some strength training on this spider while uh, I wait for him to fuck off. No XP loss here. Go, 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 go! Hey, little monkey, I'm your uncle. Give me your toy. No, just, just give it to me. Thanks. Bye. And we're back. Back. Let's do it again. Woohoo! I love this. I love this so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. Ah oh, man, I'm loving this. Yes. More. Thank you. Woo. Yes. Yes. Yeah, oh, man. Yes. Another one. Thank you. I love it here so much. 
More, yes. More monkeys. Ooh, yeah. God. Be anywhere else. Anywhere else. My wife just messaged me, what is happening? <laughs> I'm okay, I promise. I'm fine now. Hey man, you wanna see something crazy? <laughs> Dude, what am I doing in here? Hey man, let me out. I, oh, I got way too drunk and now I'm in the monkey pit. And now that we have the Gree Gree, we can throw that on and things will not attack us. It's a beautiful day. The running animation for the monkey looks so frantic, just going up. <laughs> hey, Croc, can I talk to the Abobo guy? I, I guess, sure. Cool, we're gonna help him kill a big bad demon. All we gotta do is equip this sigil, uh, but we're gonna get some items before we do so. Okay, I guess we're ready as we'll ever be. Let's put that bad boy on. Oh, there he is. Pray melee, or not melee, mage, that's what that's called. All right, so we're gonna do that. Cool. No, oh, that's still in range? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna flinch him a little bit like this, just so he can't hit us with melee. All oh, right, he's a big ass hitbox, Jesus. Oh my God, how is that still in range? Yes, got him. Holy shit, King, you've never seen that many fucking monkeys. Monkey madness completed, hell yes. Let's snag our uh, XP from Darrow here. We're gonna increase strength and stamina. Okay, and oh, look at those level ups. 58 strength, 55 hit points, 54 attack, 52 defense. I love to see it. Well, completing monkey madness unlocks a little something something, so we're gonna head back to Apatol. There she is, the Dragon Scimitar, and we can officially say, Fuck you, Dragon Scimitar, I'm never buying you. Let's get the hell out of here. Next up on the quest list is Shadow of the Storm. It's basically Demon Slayer 2, except this time he's gonna have more than 7 hit points. So we're gonna go to the desert to get this started. Hey, can I help you guys summon an evil demon? Oh no, I'm not evil enough. Um, what if I'm wearing slightly darker clothing? Yes! So evil. In this room are some of the most dreadful evil creatures alive. Matthew, Jennifer, Patrick, Eric, and Tanya. Gonna go ask these priests if they're cool summoning a demon with me. Welcome back, Dineth. Well, that was rude. All right, last hit has to be with Silverlight. Got him. All right, let's get some magic XP. Beautiful. 40 magic. Heck yeah. Next quest on the list is Watchtower, and we need 40 mining, so we're just gonna grind that out real quick. 40 mining, sweet, let's move on. Basically, this quest is very similar to Tree Gnome Village, uh, except instead of gnomes, it's wizards, and instead of Khazard warriors, it's ogres. I guess this quest does involve 300% more fingernails than Tree Gnome Village, so there's that. Well, don't mind me, ogres. Just gonna walk over here and uh, take your gold from your chests. Uh, I'll be on my way now, thanks. Let's kill this guy for his tooth, as you do. Okay, we got three parts of an ogre relic. We're gonna give him to the wizard up here, and he's gonna smash them together as hard as he can to combine them. Okay, gotta learn a little scavid language to talk to them. This is where that master's degree in linguistics of mine is really gonna come in handy. No, seriously, that's not a joke. I actually have a master's degree in linguistics of all things. Feel free to make fun of me for it. E B D E. <laughs> that's so true. Oh, sorry, you have to speak scavid to understand, but that's a really good joke. Now we just gotta put down the crystals. Pink here, gray here, yellow there, and turquoise here. Gotta pull the lever, and there's that. Watchtower completed. That is a juicy amount of magic XP. 43 magic. Very nice. Coming up next, we got Horror from the Deep. All right. Wait. What? Oh, I have to do the fucking bar crawl. All right, let's do that. Hang on. 
Got some mineral water from the Blue Moon Inn. Diet Coke from the Jolly Boar. Got a lovely cup of Earl Grey from the Blueberry Bar. Got a cookies and cream milkshake from the Rising Sun. A delightful cup of chamomile here in Port Sarum. Vanilla latte at Musa Point. Bit of kombucha at the Flying Horse Inn. Some nice mango lassi from Brimhaven. Gourmet hot chocolate from Yanil. Finally, some good Polish kvass from Sears Village to finish it all off. Well, how do you feel? Sober and energized. Okay, I drank 10 gallons of liquid all around the world. Now can I rescue your boyfriend? Time to shove as much stuff into this wall as I can. And here's the big scary quest boss. Oh, he teleported. Got him. Wait, what do you mean that wasn't the boss? It's okay, I knew it wasn't. We're fine. All right, so he's gonna use ranged. And when, they're, when she's gray, I can use melee. Okay, blue, I believe, is water spells. I don't have any mind runes. I'm an idiot. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some actual runes. That'd be good. Okay, why don't we try that again? Now that we have items, so. Hi, Mom! Okay, so we're gonna pray ranged. We're gonna stand here. Okay, that actually took a lot longer than I expected. Also, that was so abrupt. I'm just here. Hello. All right, great. Got some XP. Got a Zamorak book, so I can use it as a God Wars item later on. Uh, but yeah, cool. Let's move on. Well, we need two more magic levels before we can do the last quest I'll be doing for magic experience, which is the Eyes of Gluffrey. Uh, and we might as well get that at Slayer. So let's go back to Cockatrice. God, I wish I could use a fire staff. Oh, man. 46 magic. Hey, what's that cute little guy walking around? Oh, that's Izzy, my pet. Oh wow, what kind of creature is Izzy? Uh, 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 it's a cute, a uh, cute one, a uh, cute one. Yeah, look how cute it is. Holy shit, Oaknock is an absolute unit. Look at that guy. You know, this isn't exactly what I had in mind when I said turtle formation, but you know, close enough. Okay, after approximately 37 cutscenes, we can go back to Brimstail. Two things. First, I hate that hand with all my heart. It's very unsettling. Second, basically this puzzle is all about just getting to the right number. Each one of these shapes has a value and yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do the puzzle. Oh no, the cute creatures were transformed into honestly a different kind of cute creature. I feel kind of bad attacking it. It's really not that awful, but I guess we're gonna get brined. Hey, King, I killed all those little guys for you, so that's on my conscience forever. Can I just have my magic XP now? Eyes of Gluffrey completed. Okay. The next quest on my list involves going to the faraway land of just over there. We're gonna go to Fight Arena. Hi there, I'm looking for the Serval family. Neat, fuck off. Fun fact, Sammy's actually short for Salmonella. Bring the prisoner into the arena. What about the kid? Yeah, uh, fuck, send him into. why not? It's a big fucking scorpion. Where did you find this thing? Jesus. Ow. Thank you. I killed a dog. I feel a little bad about it. You'll pay for what you've done. You are the one who sent him to kill me. What did you expect? Now, I don't have to kill him, but obviously I'm gonna. I want a sword. Look how cool that thing is. Okay, yeah, bye dude. See you in Secrets of the North. Hey, Lady Serval, got your family back, but a uh, quick question before we get to that. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, turns out your family was imprisoned by a demigod. I thought they were just kind of like in jail, but uh, that was a lot more than I was expecting. You want to tell me anything about that? Nope, not really. All right, okay, let's just move on. That's fight arena completed. My friends, it is time for underground bass. Oh, there it fucking is. Gotta use the cloth on the arrows, I believe. Uh, where do I freaking shoot? Fire at guide rope, that seems right. I can't get a clear shot from here. All right, what about over there? Is it more of a clear shot if I walk directly up to this metal grate? Apparently. Okay, here's the fun part. Uh, so everyone has a different pattern to this, so we're gonna probably fall a lot. Um, let's see what happens. Yeah, ow, thank you for that, that's great. Okay, let's try this one. All right, we got one. Let's move forward. Oh, second one in a row, all right. Ah, nice, okay. Straight. Okay, one more. No! Oh no, I clicked the wrong, we're fine apparently. Okay, everything's cool, all right, great. There's a furnace down here. You know, I think I'm gonna do all my smithing training down here. <laughs> okay, one, 
Let's disarm this guy. Fuck. Ow. Okay. Okay, alright, alright, not bad. Try this one. One more? Come on. Do it for me. God damn it. Oh, I'm sure nothing bad could happen if I take this orb. That is unrelated to anything I could possibly do here. Let me through! I did not mean to kill- alright, well apparently I'm killing a zombie. Sorry man, you're just collateral damage. And uh, now we gotta go through here again. Ah! I'm just covered in stab wounds at this point. Well, well, well. Hey, you wanna let me out? Nah, later, later. I'll come back. N don't worry about it. I'll, you'll be fine. Uh, so if I had 50 thieving, I could go there, but I don't. So we're going this way. Ow. Thank you. That was great. Soothing, really. Give in to your desires. My desire is to get across this bridge, so I will gladly give in to that. Ow. Hey, Koftik, how did you get down here? Oh, it's a unicorn. You fill me with hope. I'm so happy. Oh, it's a boulder. I wonder what I can do with it. Holy shit, it's so grisly. What have I done? I'm really sorry about this. I f oh, God. I could have just brought a unicorn horn. I killed lots of you earlier, but in less... Horrible ways than this. Yeah, Saren, I hear you. I just really would rather not. Okay, new account idea. Make an account called Mysterious Voice and follow around players doing the underground pass quest and just talk to them. Well, time to be the worst. I have to kill them for their badges, and I really think I could have just asked them for them. Uh, is there no other option? No, apparently just murder. Okay, so this is Ivan's Cavern. This is, apparently, the largest area in RuneScape that's not on the surface. It is frickin' huge, and we get to have a lot of fun here. Ooh, they're having a great time here. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, right as I picked up the cat, my actual real-life cat crawled into my lap. What is happening? You part of this quest, Rengar? Okay, I have to use the cat on the door, so I'm imagining I'm just, like, pushing it against the door until it meows? No. Oh, I place a cat on the floor. I see. That's good. That's much better than what I was thinking. Yes! So here we have Othanian and two of the new uh, Eevee evolutions in the new Pokemon generation. Holtheon and Doomion. Sit down. See ya in Lumby. Now the safe thing to do here is to safe spot this guy and then use telekinetic grab to grab the amulet that he drops. Um, but welcome to Worst in Slot. Oh my god, I made it both times. <laughs> what is this luck? Wait, I'm looking at this journal, and we got the elements shadow, sure. The elements blood, yeah, ancients. The elements flesh, are we getting flesh barrage? Because I do not like that. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Now it's time for the really fun part of this quest. Uh, spider time. PJ Simulator 2003 is, uh, is what it really is. There's a big spider in the middle. Uh, we have to kill that one, but all the other ones want to kill us first, so... Oh my god, did I just get lucky? No way. Oh my god! Alright, sick! <laughs> Hell yeah! Great, okay. Get away from these spiders. Two jumps left. Come on. Yes! Let's do it! Yes! <laughs> That's Iben. That's his well. This is his doll. Doll, go in well. Iben, hate that. He die. That's about it. Toss you in there. Bye! Okay, we did it. Now we just gotta get back to Artie. Underground pass is completed. Hell yeah. So, we get Iben's staff from this, uh, which is kind of cool. You can do something really neat with it, which is drop it on the ground. Uh, right there, and walk away. What's the only thing more fun than going through the underground pass? Going through it two more times for regicide! That wasn't too bad at all. Fell once. Could have been worse. Oh my gosh, it's an elf! It's the first one I've met. Let's be friends. Oh. Oh no. Ah, Lord Ironworth. Clearly a good guy that I will trust with my whole heart. So this guy has hated every human he's seen, and I told him that I'm on his side, and he's like, Yeah, aha, uh -huh, I'm sure, dude. So we gotta go talk to Lord Ironworth, and he'll help us prove it. Look, I have your boss's jewelry. Do you believe me now? He's like, weird, but sure, I guess. 
All right, we gotta follow these tracks into the dense forest. We're gonna try getting through it. Oh, we can't get past it. So I basically go back to the elf guy and say, hey, what the fuck is up with those trees? I can't get through them. And he's like, all right, so just try it again, but pretend that you're in any way competent, and then we'll be able to do it. Wow, thanks to him berating me, I can do anything. Oh god, it's a guy. He's not interested in being slashed. Maybe he wants to be stabbed. Well, doesn't seem big on being stabbed either. Okay, well, we'll see. Okay, that took a while. Hey, 132 coins, look at that. Ooh, a catapult, I wonder who's gonna use that. It's me, I'm gonna use it. Okay, okay, Lord Ironworth, I got a plan, I got a plan, hear me out. Bombs. Time for some chemistry, we gotta distill these barrels of coal tar into naphtha. Let's do it again. Gave this guy a cooked rabbit and he's gonna wander away, leaving the catapult unattended in the hands of a complete stranger. Uh, that seems great, really good for your career. Let's do some regicide, just like the quest name. Jesus. Oh god, the burnt skeleton in there already? Good god. Hey Lord Ironworth, I committed first degree murder, just like you asked. Are you are you proud of me, maybe? Yes, he's proud of me. Oh hi, Arianwen, what are you doing here? Oh, what a twist, I was helping the bad guy. But I mean, I, I still want my reward, right? Like, that's still gonna happen, yeah? Okay, regicide completed! Now, I said I would kill the first non-quest boss on the account, and I'm gonna go do exactly that. We're gonna go see Bryophyta. She is the moss giant boss that lives under Varrock. She doesn't have an item effectiveness chart like most bosses do on the wiki, but I can guarantee that after scouring her page, the Brine Saber is not mentioned anywhere, so we are good to go. Okay, let's pot up. Mossy key in. And let's beat our first non-quest boss. Thank you. Okay, we gotta kill these growthlings and use a bronze axe on them. Or else we won't be able to do any damage to her. Well, we can use any and you know what I mean, anyway. Kill the bastards. Done. Oh, and they're back, hooray. Thank you, go away. Alright, back to you. Oh man, I'm hitting so well. Okay, more growthlings. I'm gonna eat a food. Oh my god, hit the growthling! What the heck? Thank you. Okay, we should be able to just finish her off now. Oh my god, more growthlings. Oh my god, you're two health! Ah! Just to hit her! More growthlings? No! <laughs> Okay, just to hit one. Ah, oh, yes, okay. I've never had that many growlings, <laughs> Jesus. Sick, we did it. 10,000 coins, I actually love that right now. Beautiful. Before we end this episode, there's one last boss I'd like to kill. And in keeping with the underground theme today, we'll be taking on the giant mole under Falador Park. As you can see, the Brian Saber is not mentioned anywhere at all in the item effectiveness chart, so we are good to proceed. Mole spotted. Damage. Damage done. Alright. Let's chase down the big brown rat. Where is it? Did it tunnel to a different server? Not, not, not right now, not right now. No. It was at this point I decided to bring my main down and max gear to uh, hopefully dissuade people from crashing the poor guy with a brine saber.
Hell yes! <laughs> that is a mole kill. <laughs> it was perfect. Let's go! <laughs> well, that completes our tour of RuneScape's Underground. For now. I'll see you next episode as we spend way too much time in a place that's green.